Hello. Today we're going to discuss what we call a Michelson interferometer. And the setup consists of the interferometer itself with the two mirrors and the beam splitter. And we have here a converging lens with a focal length of 5 millimeters, plus 5 millimeters. And we have here the laser beam, the Helimnian laser beam of power 1 milliwatt and wavelengths of 632.8 nanometers. So the setup is the following, as the following. The laser beam goes into the lens from here to there, and what happens is that this lens disperse the laser beam to widen the spot of the laser. And so the laser beam enters the beam splitter and divides 50 here and 50 there, and then the reflection comes back to the beam splitter and comes back from here to the beam splitter and then they interfere and goes right away on this wall. So what we're going to see is the apparatus itself. So let me get the light off. So now turning the laser on drives the beam through the lens and then through the beam splitter as we said before and then to the mirrors, to both of the mirrors, and then we observe the pattern of constructive and destructive interference. Having a bright fringe at the center, here right at the center. So of course, what happens is that the light goes from here and just passes, and then reflects and goes right down here. And also we have the light coming here, reflects, reflects back, but through here. But we have the controversial of the interference at this wall. We have an, an interference pattern at this lens. Because the happen, what happens is the following. If you're having a light beam coming here, and reflecting back, 50% goes there, and 50% goes here. But this 50%, as the same for this mirror, we're having a light beam coming there, just 50% goes here, and 50% goes there. So and reflects back, so this 50% and this 50% just combine together and create an interference pattern right here at the lens as well. With a dark fringe being at the center, but here with a bright fringe, with the bright spot being at the center. And this is due to that the surface of this beam splitter, this one reflects, but but light coming from here does not reflect here. Light coming from this mirror reflects on the surface of this side. So light comes, go through the mirror, and just reflects and go back. And that was for the Michelson interferometer and the constructive and destructive interfer interferences. Thank you for your time.